we're gonna do something a little different this video. This is gonna be a virtual car show of all of the coolest rigs, our favorite rigs that we saw all throughout Hammers. We're gonna sprinkle in some surprises and some highlight events and race content throughout the video. But this is mostly just some of the coolest trucks that we saw here at Hammertown USA. And if you want to check out some of the exclusive racing content, go to ultra4racing.com or check out King of the Hammers on YouTube. There's a ton of cool stuff out there. We're going to do something a little different. Here you go. We were lucky enough to camp with some of the competitors in the 4600 class this year. So Team Atterbury, thanks so much for having us. We had a blast. This is their 4600 Race Bronco. Town and Johnson Valley USA are massive and it really puts into perspective the vastness of this desert and the amount of people that are committed to and love this sport of off-road racing. This is the Holly EFI shootout where competitors are under a time trial to get down idle issues and up chocolate thunder as fast as they can. day one for us cruising around Hammertown and it is so cool to see the spectators rigs just the amount of effort people put into not only getting their rigs out here but building something cool building something unique it was awesome to see the variety of builds and some of the stuff we had just never seen before I don't know what you do with tires this big, but I bet it's a lot of fun. This might have been one of the cleanest four-door Tacomas that I have ever seen. And then there's the rigs that get used and abused. Yep, 44-inch Pitbull Rockers just hanging out on a first-gen 4Runner, casually. Single seater with a made out of junkyard parts. Junkyard V8. All junkyard. That's the second junkyard 5.3 I put in it. Amazing. Junkie. Yeah. Kingpin Dana 60 and 14 volt. What uh, what transmission are you running? Turbo 350 with an Atlas. Classic. Get my Epstein. Get the Atlas skip plate on the outside. Oh yeah. Like that Epstein. Yep, Epstein did not kill himself, everyone. <laughs> we have fun with them, man. That's good, dude. This is good. So, did you build the housings, or are those custom? No, those? I, I offset, machined everything, got custom.
on axles, king shocks, coilovers on all four corners. It's kind of par for the course. And 54 inch Mickey Thompson's don't even stand out that much. <laughs> This lineup is all the 4600, 4500, and 4800 class race trucks getting ready to go through the safety and contingency inspections. There's details on all the classes on the Ultra 4 Racing website, but basically the 4600 is considered the stock class, 4500 is considered the modified class, the 4800 is considered the legends class, and these are a lot of the old 4400 cars. The 4400 cars are the unlimited class. It gets a bit confusing, but there's three different classes in this lineup, and they're all really cool. There were quite a few old Toyotas getting set up to go on the race course. All of them looking to gain that legendary status of the 4619 Rusty Nail Racing Truck. Shout out to Justin and his team for building such a sweet rig and being a weapon on the race course. Everywhere you look in this place, there's clean build after clean build. I don't know how many times I said to Stacy, oh, I want to build one like that. I want to build this one. It's overwhelming the amount of cool rigs that are out here, and we only showed a fraction of them here. There's still some left.
There's lots of cool activities and different things to do around Hammertown, as well as look at cool trucks. And one of those is get a free t-shirt if you wait in a long line at Can-Am, and they were screen printing them live right there. We were lucky enough to camp with these guys, and seeing them finish fifth in the stock class was an absolute highlight for us. Props to them for building a badass truck and enduring the brutal race course. Well, thanks to our new Hawaiian friends here, King of Hammers, we are going to be reviewing Modelo. <laughs> You've probably never seen this exotic beer before. It's new. Funny enough, I've actually never tried a Modelo, so I'm gonna tell you what it's all about. What's that nose like? It smells like uh, American <laughs> lager. American lager. Yeah, kind of uh... <laughs> It actually tastes like a Lucky. It tastes like a Lucky. It tastes very... It's like a Mexican Lucky. Mexican Lucky. Cheers. We'd like to hear from you guys. What was your favorite rig in the video? And if you were at Hammertown, what was your favorite rig of the whole weekend? Thanks for watching.